seeing CMS do so much to help the kids at home right now. Pictures like this show that we're also hearing the district is missing out on money from the state. Our education reporter Elsa Gillis went through the money set aside by North Carolina for school districts and learned CMS, by far our largest district, is losing out. Elsa? Well, Scott, this all comes down to your tax money and money to help 150,000 children in Charlotte Mecklenburg schools. Let me take you through how this all started. The governor set aside $50 million to give to school districts. You likely have already seen that need from nutrition for kids who usually eat breakfast and lunch at school to supplies for remote learning and sanitation for schools. That money was split up to counties based on two things student enrollment and poverty levels. According to a breakdown of funding shared with me from the Department of Public Instruction, Mecklenburg is the only county that didn't get any money for the poverty or low wealth piece of that formula. And it shows that CMS got the lowest amount of money per child. Now I spoke with CMS's legislative liaison about this. He says it has to do with Mecklenburg County being considered the wealthiest county in the state according to a state formula. But there is no denying there's still a big need in CMS. The district has 80 Title I schools, over 4,000 students categorized as homeless, and that CMS rep says more students eligible for free or reduced lunch than any other school district in the state. Now, CMS did get some of that funding from that $50 million pot of money based on enrollment, but not based on the low wealth piece of that formula. Back to you. Yeah, so much money flying around and everyone just trying to keep track of it. And of course, people want to help. And, and that's why we're glad this is coming in. And we know you'll stay on top of that, Elsa. Thank you. The State Board of Education chair told Channel 9 the purpose of this distribution was to fund districts again as quickly as possible, knowing that larger federal money is coming in as well. That, he says, will be weighted to the districts with higher poverty, regardless of the wealth in that county.